it's Miss Heather. Welcome to WQLN PBS Homeroom. I'm Miss Heather and this is Twiggle. And we were just looking at this amazing seashell that we got from the ocean. And we were talking about how maybe a crab lived in there before. What do you think? Look at, I even brought some hermit crabs today. I'm gonna take this off. I want you to take a look at it. I'm gonna put you down, Twiggle. Look inside this habitat of the hermit crabs. This is where they live. This belongs to my friends, but look at this right here is the shavings off of the skin on the coconut. And look at, look where they're hiding. Do you see all those shells down there? I'm gonna move this over just for a minute so that you can see. There are real live hermit crabs living in here. Let's see if I can find one. I want you to be able to see. Look at here, here's one. Let me put a little bit of drips of water in there and see if we can wake them up. Can you see in there? There's a hermit crab living in here. Let's try a different one. I wanted you guys to see. Oh, here's one. Come on out, we wanna see you. Do you see it moving? Come on, our friends wanna see you. Do you see it? This is where the hermit crab lives. He lives inside the shell. Oh, he's coming out to say hello. Look at his eyes. There's his eyes and his little feet. Isn't he beautiful? Let me put him back in here. Look at, there you go. Here, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna put this back on top and keep them warm. Maybe we could put this one Look at, they have their own little water in here. This one was playing in here today and got it a little bit dirty. Look at, we'll put them right here by the water. See that one? There's sand in here, water. This is food that's special for the hermit crab. See that? And they are from the ocean. Isn't that amazing? Hermit crabs live in the ocean. Isn't that the coolest thing that we got to see? Real hermit crabs. Real hermit crabs live in the ocean. And do you know what? My friends brought these back from the ocean. Did you know that hermit crabs have 10 legs and two large claws? We kind of saw it when it was coming out of its shell. You could see it, it's so cool. And then hermit crabs have two long stalks with eyes on the top. So remember, I showed you his little eyes peeked out and they, that's what he uses to see. And do you know what? They're nocturnal. And nocturnal means that they sleep um, in the daytime and they come out at night. So that's pretty cool too. And guess what? Sometimes they fight with each other so that they can try and get in a bigger shell because they grow just like you do. And they come out of their shells and they need a bigger shell to, grow, to move into. I'm gonna show you. I actually have some of those shells later. So this is what they do. See, this one's moving out of this little shell and into a big one. Isn't that amazing? Before we get working on our project today, we're actually gonna do a math lesson today. I am going to um, read you a book about a house for hermit crab, just like our hermit crabs that we brought with us today. Let's get started. I'm gonna go get the book and get ready. I'll be right back. I found my book, it is so amazing. It's called A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle. So this is a story about a house for hermit crab. So what kind of house did we see that hermit crab living in? Do you remember? It was a shell. So let's see what this hermit crab does. This is written and illustrated by Eric Carle. So he wrote the words and drew the pictures. You ready? Time to move, said Hermit Crab. One day in January, I've grown too big for this little shell. He felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. So there he is coming out of his shell, and he has to find one that's bigger. 
because he grew. He needs a bigger shell. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so, well, so plain, said Hermit Crab. See? That's definitely bigger. But it is kind of plain. Maybe he wants to make it look prettier. Let's see. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. See that? Look how pretty that looks. He's making his house look so pretty. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. Do you see where he put it? Here's the sea anemone. Where's, where do you think he's going to put that starfish? Let's see if the next page shows us. It does. In May, Hermit Crab discover, discovered some coral. They were hard and they didn't move. Oh, but how pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help me make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, that means very carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. So see, there is the starfish. I wonder where he's going to put that coral. See the coral right here? It is pretty. Kind of looks like a tree in the ocean, doesn't it? Without any leaves. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They gazed as they went picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hard working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, said one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Look how nice it's starting to look. There's that coral. Wonder where he's gonna put the snail. It's starting to look so pretty. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins and they had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, said the spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. Look at why the urchin would protect his house. You see how prickly it is? Nobody would want to come near that, would they? They would not want to be poked with that. It's a good idea. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, said Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. Look how dark the seaweed is. I'm not sure they are liking how dark it is in there. Oh, but in September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up my house? Good idea. I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. Look how cool this is. There are fish that actually have little lights in it that lights up the water for them in the dark seaweed. Hermit Crab is so lucky, so now he's gonna get one to stick onto his shell to light up his house. What a good idea. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. That's like a rock. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? 
Not at all, answered the pebbles. And the hermit crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered hermit crab. So look at, he's gonna move these, rock, these pebbles around so that he can be protected. Look at how great he's starting to look. He decorated his shell, didn't he? But in November, guess what? Hermit crab felt that his shell was getting too small again. Little by little over the year, hermit crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They had been so good to me, thought Herbert Cramp. They're like family. How can I ever leave them? Look at that. They have been pretty amazing friends for him. He made his house beautiful, helped him. What is he going to do? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I've outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? Well, I've outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. <gasps> I promise, said the little crab. Look at that's perfect size for her. See, hers got too small. That would probably be just right for her. Let's see what happens. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever. And Hermit Crab, as he waved goodbye, said that he would miss his family. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big, empty shell. It looked well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. There's so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. So here he is. There's another big one. I think he'll fit in this one. But now he wants to start decorating his new shell, his new home. The end. Isn't that a great story? I love Eric Carl. I'm so glad that the hermit crab shared his beautiful home with his new friend and um, shared his, his home and then he went and found another one. I think that's the greatest story. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am going to go get ready because we are going to learn more about hermit crab shells. I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm all ready here. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk about small, medium, and large first. Because in our story today, he kept getting bigger, the hermit crab did, and he had to find a bigger uh, shell. So I wanted to show you something. Before we get started, I have three shells here. And you know what? These are hermit crab shells. I have three. Look at how little this one is. There's a little hole in it. So this one is small. This is the smallest one I'm holding, small medium, and this is large. This is the biggest one. So the biggest hermit crab would probably not fit in this one. It would fit in this one, right? But if you tried to put a little tiny baby hermit crab in this one, I think it would be too big. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna figure out, here's my first hermit crab, okay? Now I have three shells and you have to help me decide which shell he would fit in the best. I'm gonna show you the small one first, okay? So here is the small shell. And there's that hermit crab, right? Do you think he would fit in the small shell? What do you think? I don't think so. I don't think that big hermit crab is gonna fit in the small shell. Let's look at the medium shell. This is medium. Well, it's a little bit bigger, right? But I don't know. I still think this hermit crab is just too big 
for this shell too. So let's take a look at the largest shell. This is the large. Let's see. I think that's the one for the large hermit crab. See, look at the difference. This is the small one and that is the large one. I think this would be the one that he would fit the most comfortable in. So I'm gonna say this shell. All right, let's look at another hermit crab. Are you ready? This one is the little small one. Look how cute he is. Look how different. Whoa, this one's really big and this one's small, right? So let's figure out now for the small. So I think that one that we picked for the other one is just going to be too big. I think he would fall right out of this one, don't you? I think so. Then we have the medium one. It's getting a little bit better, but it's still kind of big for such a little baby crab, isn't it? But then we have the small one. That one looks just right. The small shell goes with the small crab, remember? That is much bigger, big, small. Now the next one is the medium crab. That means, let me show you one more time. Big, small. Medium is somewhere just right in the middle. Look it, let me see if I can do this. See, it's the middle one. So we're gonna call that in the middle. So let's figure out the perfect home for the middle hermit crab. Okay, here's the big one. What do you think? Is the big shell the best choice for our medium or our middle hermit crab? I think it's still too big. Do you think so? I think so. Here's the little one. I don't know. I think that one almost looks too little. I don't think he's gonna be very comfy in there. But here is the medium one. That looks like the right one, doesn't it? I think it does too. So big, medium, or the middle one, and small. That's how hermit crabs decide where they're going to live. If they're big, they'll live in the big one. If they're a baby, they'll live in the baby one. That's pretty cool. Hi guys, I just went and got all the stuff ready. We're gonna make a hermit crab today. Isn't that gonna be fun? It's gonna look just like the hermit crab in our story that we read today. So let me show you what we're gonna need. We're gonna need, uh, now remember, when you're an artist, you can do it however you want, it's okay. But I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm gonna use red for my, for my handprint. We're gonna use our handprint to make the crab, okay? And then I got out yellow and green and blue paint to decorate his shell. I also have some glitter and I have some sequins. You know what, if you don't have them, it's okay. You can do it however you want. I grabbed some glue because, look what I did. Can you tell what this is gonna be? I put googly eyes, oops! I'm gonna glue the googly eyes onto the pipe cleaner because we have to make his eyes. Let me show you. Let me put those back on there. They have to dry. But these are gonna be the crab's eyes, okay? So you need a pipe cleaner and some googly eyes. And remember, if you don't have googly eyes or a pipe cleaner, you can draw them on. I got a cotton ball. We're going to paint with a cotton ball today. We're going to decorate his shell with a cotton ball. And I got scissors and a paintbrush to paint my hands. And you know I always have some baby wipes to wipe my hands off when I'm done. You can get any piece of paper you want. If you don't have a small paper plate to make his shell, it doesn't matter. You can get a piece of white paper. Remember, you're an artist and you can do it however you want to. I'm going to show you how I do it though, okay? So I'm going to paint my hand. What color is that? 
red, because he was red in our story. So I'm gonna paint my hand red. Can you see what I'm doing here? Getting my whole hand covered in red. And then when I have my whole hand covered in red paint, look at it. Look at that. I'm going to put it right on my piece of paper. Just like that. Do you see it? Now before I cut it out, I'm going to wipe my hands off. And I use washable paint. Um, and then it will come off easier. When I put some soapy water on my hands, it'll come right off. But I'm going to use this wipe. Now, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out my hand. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to cut around it a little bit. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just like that. Okay? And then I'm going to put some glue on the back. Just like this. And I'm going to pretend like this is his legs coming out of the shell. See that? And here, now you know what? Miss Heather should have glued these on here before. I'm going to try a little more glue on these googly eyes. Got to give them the chance to dry. But I'm going to put some glue on my pipe cleaner right here. And these are going to be the hermit crab's eyes. We'll put them right back here. Isn't that funny? Hopefully they will stay up there. Now a lot of these things you have to wait till they dry, but I want to I want you guys to have a chance to see what it looks like. So now we have his little legs coming out like you did before when I showed you my friend's hermit crab. He started crawling out. But now we want to make his his um, shell look beautiful. So I have a little bit of green and blue and yellow paint. And I'm going to take my cotton balls and I might dip them in a little bit of all the colors. It's, a, it's fun to mix them up. And then I'm going to put them all the way around. Oh, there go my eyes. Miss Heather, we got to staple those up there, huh? And I'm going to put it and decorate. You know what, I'm gonna take this down. Let me show you. And I'm gonna put it all over, but this is what I wanna show you. When I'm done decorating my, you know what? I need to fix this poor little guy's eyes. Sometimes when you're an artist it works and sometimes it just doesn't. But I got glitter, okay? And I'm going to put it on top of the wet paint. Here we go. And I am going to show you what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? You can add sequins. You can add paint. You can add glitter. You can add whatever you want to decorate your hermit crabs uh, shell and make it just like decorate it like he did in his book. Isn't that amazing? I think it's so pretty. You can definitely, if you're going to glue your eyes on, give them a chance to dry or you can maybe tape them on so that they don't fall off and then you can attach them. But I wanted you to see how cute he is. Isn't he adorable? I hope you get a chance to make it and if you need to go back and look on WQLN PBS's homeroom page, it, learning at home, it will show you how to do this craft. I hope you get a chance to make it. We had so much fun today, didn't we, Twiggle? Look at, look who's coming out of his shell. Do you see it? Hello, hermit crab. We learned so much about you today. Can I pick you up? Twiggle would like to see you. Hello. You are so beautiful and you live in the ocean. That's so amazing. Thank you for coming to our class today. We had so much fun today. We read an amazing book about a house for hermit crabs, and we figured out small, medium, and big, and what size uh, shell the crabs needed to be in. That was pretty amazing. And then we made a hermit crab, and guess what? I found that eyeball that kept falling off 
Twiggle found it. It was on my shirt. Wasn't that silly? It was so silly. You look at he's trying to talk to you. Does he want to talk to you? He's trying to figure out who you are, huh? I hope that while you were with us today, you felt a little bit like part of our school family and and that you guys learned a little bit more about the ocean and the hermit crabs that live in it. Let's put him down. There you go. I hope that you guys keep reading and keep learning and keep watching WQLN PBS where learning is brought to life. And it really came to life this time, didn't it? Goodbye guys, have a great day.